Hello YouTube. Right, as you can see, the Hurst Green Shaft peas are absolutely well away now. Um, they're getting these little uh, blemishes on the leaves. I think that might be lack of nutrients. I really need to get these in now. So we'll head to the plot, we'll get a structure up, and we'll get some peas planted. Well guys, I hope you can hear me over the wind. I've got a structure up with bamboo and chicken wire. And what we've done, we've done something, something a bit different. We've got some weed suppressant and cut a hole in it to try and see if we can stop weeds uh, surrounding the peas. Right, structure's all done. We've got the first ones in, but I'll just show you roughly what we've done. Uh, we've soaked these out. I'll just do the one. All we're doing is... Sliding them out. Hopefully in one go, but it's not going to work in one go. And there we go. Right, so well, there we go. There's our row of Hurst green shaft planted out. Give them a water in. And then, next job, bird and mouse protection. And there we go. Looks a bit extreme, but last year when we planted them out, they all got eaten. So that's the Hearst Green Chef peas. And while I'm up this end of the garden, as you see the peas are near there, I'll just show you all the container potatoes. I gave them a topping up. Doing very, very well now. Um, even the sarpos, they've come up, so they're going to want their first top up. The kestrel on the end are doing really well. So, and all the ground grown ones, these are the main crop rows, they're just about up. I just thought we'd show you this uh, brassica tunnel door end. As you see, now we've got the door on, you get the idea. It's ready just for netting. So we're going to have a sliding netted door. Don't tell everybody, they'll all want one. And while I'm here guys, I'll have, I've had a little bit of a dilemma with uh, the overwintering onions. Now these have been in since September and because of all the bizarre weather, I've had a load of these seed heads. Now, I've nipped up one there and they're pretty much just all going to seed. It was just bizarrely cold and then it's bizarrely uh, red hot. They don't know what weather they're growing in. Anyway, I'll, I'll be damned if uh, they've been growing eight months. So I'll be uh, certainly not pulling them up and letting them go to waste. Someone said, don't oh, nip the seed heads off and they may be still uh, pull, but, but you might get a bit of a hard piece. Um, Dad said he didn't mind that, so... We're going to see how they come out. As you see, the, a lot of them are real bulbing up, but it was a bit disheartening, but not much we can do, really. Just before I go, I'll show you in the greenhouse. I've got a bit of a tidy round, a bit of a move round, but the shallots and leeks have moved over here. Repotted the red cabbage. The sprouts need potting on. And I've got some gardener's delight tomatoes in buckets so yeah things are starting to really take shape now just a bit of a an up, brief update guys so I thank you for watching if you enjoy our videos and you want to follow our allotment journey please subscribe to our channel by clicking the red button as always thanks for watching Take care and bye for now.